Sid Pereira, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, for everyone listening and watching, Sid is the founder and the CEO of Earth One. Sid, thanks for joining me today, man. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. I, I love the plant in the background. Uh, I think yours is by choice. Mine is just for uh, aesthetics, but uh, hence the uh, the nature of your business. I think that's a very suitable background for you. No, it makes perfect sense. This is my prize to have Bird of a Paradise. Mine, mine's fake. Mine's fake. I, I got to admit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to water we'll, this. We'll get you some real plants. Yeah, I definitely I need that the, the real plant for sure. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming yours, uh, yours has life to it. Oh, yes. Yes. She is a dramatic, dramatic, uh, organic being. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so, Sid, everyone listening, uh, why don't you give them a breakdown of, uh, of what Earth One is and, and what you guys do? Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, I've been asked this question a lot. What's your one liner for the company? And the uh, best way to think about it is we're a Fitbit, but for plants. So we're a hardware and software solution that enables the consumer market, home gardeners, plant enthusiasts to optimize foliage, uh, yield, and flowering. So whether you're growing exotic house plants, uh, whether you're growing produce at home, we've got a solution for you. We can uh, forecast harvest dates. Um, we read soil moisture really well in a lot of different mediums. And uh, and it's tech. We, we aim to gamify things. We aim to um, get you connected to all of the other smart things in your home. That's, uh, that's amazing. And uh, so what made you get into plants in the first place? Well, uh, let's face it, people love plants. Maybe we don't talk about it so much, but we certainly show it. Um, here's something I ask your audience or yourself to try. The next time you watch an interview like this or a video or a podcast or a commercial of someone sitting in front of a camera, count the amount of plants you see in the background. You could even play a drinking game out of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've, we've always had an affinity for plants. I, I, I we as in humans, yeah. Uh, I mean, a lot of our planet's food comes from plants as well. They're not going anywhere. And, uh, I would say neither is our love for technology, right? We want technology everywhere. Um, and, and we, we enjoy its presence in many aspects of our life. So we said, Hey, uh, let's marry the two plants and technology. It, it was, it was meant to happen. And, and we're going to be at the forefront of that. And your background is uh, in the engineering side of it as well, as far as the product goes? Yeah, I would say so. My, my education is, is applied engineering. So it's engineering technology. I actually started out in, uh, in automotive. So my, my career path was for GM, Tesla, that type of stuff. But, yeah. uh, but, but, a lot of, but a lot of applicable skills, transferable skills, I would say. It's still sensors. It's still uh, making something smart. And it's still contributing to, you know, something that's really ingrained in, in human life. So to answer your question, yes, I am also involved in the engineering. And this is a product uh, for residential use. So pretty much anyone with a plant or plants are, are looking to start, you know, getting rid of the fake ones and getting the real ones in. Uh, this would be applicable to them? Yes, absolutely. Um, we do have plans to do commercial. Uh, as you may know, in the real estate business, staging is... Uh, pretty important as well. Um, so we will have applications for folks out there. And it's not to say that we won't help uh, certain commercial growers, you know, at, at, at a good price point, um, yeah. get their get their uh, tech game up per se. But yes, for now, for residential, we want to help people grow anything. Okay. And can this, do you have to be an expert grower? Is this for beginners as well? Like what's that? Market? Um, so, so that's a great question. This product is for plant geeks, but it's also for folks sitting on the fence about, about getting into the hobby. You know, as mentioned earlier, it's like a Fitbit for plants. Mm -hmm. um, whether you're a, an experienced athlete or someone that wants to crack into this space, the data helps whoever you are, right? And and the data helps give you some confidence to make sure that you're on the right track. Um, and, you know, I, I don't mean to throw any shade here, but come on, folks, don't just buy snake plants. You know, snake plants are great. But you'd be surprised with what you can grow. Um, we're here to help you, you know, get some confidence, equip you with some data, and uh, and help you grow some pretty amazing things. So let's let's talk about that the data actually. So someone buys a few plants, they want to test out your product, and now they're using kind of the Fitbit for their plant. What like what are they going to see from that data? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. So you know, on the 
the, the smartphone side of things, you're greeted with a dashboard of all your plants and all your devices. It's almost like a garden management system. Um, now we're starting with, we're focusing on a lot of uh, indoor growers. So people that, as you had brought up, you know, you've got plants for aesthetic, um, people that are trying to spruce up their home and bring some life into it. They're, they're going to have sort of these exotic plants that look beautiful, but they're actually very hard to take care of. So the, one of the biggest things with exotic plants is making sure you're watering correctly. And contrary to popular belief, um, popular belief being that, hey, you, there, there's a certain time interval or like a set frequency of watering all your plants. That's actually pretty incorrect. Uh, plants just like us feel hungry when they feel hungry. It, it's based on the amount of um, uh, what their environmental conditions are. That dictates how fast they're growing. If they're growing fast, their watering needs will change. If they're growing slow, their watering needs will change. So first and foremost, our biggest value proposition is you're not going to overwater or underwater your plants. That's There's no guessing there now. We fixed that. That's number one data. And historically speaking, you can look at your watering trends for like a month behind. So from a month ago, how frequently were you watering? You can see the spike levels, uh, the, the level spiking, I should say, up and down. Um, and... It's, it's not binary. A lot of this stuff you'll see on the market is like kind of simple. It's, yeah, it's dry. Yeah, it's moist. But we're putting numbers to it. We're giving you a graph. We're giving you actionable insights. So that's just for watering. We do things for light as well. I'm sure you've gone to a plant store and said, okay, what kind of light does this need? And, and the folks at the plant store are like, yeah, that'll be direct light. Okay, how do I know I'm getting direct light? Well, guess what? We can show you that you're getting direct light or indirect light or medium or low. And we count the hours of how much of that light you're getting. So so that kind of data. Um, there's always some experimental stuff we roll out. That's the, that's the cool part about being a software. You can update. You can play with things. We can help people with different metrics on a, you know, uh, revolving basis to to optimize that foliage, flowering yield. That's the name of the game. A lot of foliage makes the place look pretty. I like it. I like it. And this is a, it's an app you can download and track on your phone and you can save, like you said, a month at a time at least. Right. So you would need the hardware. Uh, that's okay. what's collecting the data. Now the okay. software has its own features, but they work hand in hand. So, okay. so you sort of need the, say again, Fitbit analogy, you got to have the watch tracking right. your heartbeat, right? The same way we need to look at, your micro environment to start providing you a lot of this information. Okay. But once you get the hardware, then you can get access to the software, the app, et cetera. Wicked. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, is there someone in the market that's doing it quite like this? Cause you guys seem pretty unique. Um, yeah, there, there's a lot of folks that, uh, you know, just, just like it, it's, it's a good thing. We're in this space. There are, there is a good amount of competition, a healthy amount. Folks are making, just software, folks are making just hardware. Um, we're doing both. So we're doing the robust hardware and the cool software. So like I had mentioned earlier, uh, it's important for us to provide good hardware to produce accurate and reliable you know, plant health metrics. Then the software can take over and provide the insights, the tips, the automations and connectivity to other smart things. So we're even close to letting you ask Alexa how your plants are doing or when you pick those tomatoes, or when you should pick those tomatoes, I should say. Um, we'll soon be able to find a plant sitter in your area for when you're away as well. And the plant sitter will be equipped with the data readings from the hardware saying, okay, you know what? I need to water this plant. I don't need to worry about this one so much. So we're bringing a lot of different skills, a lot of different, I would say, tech, uh, a lot of different knowledge together. And we really... Uh, we really have a focus on product user experience and and being able to automate if you choose and, um, and basically just build a lot of confidence in the space. Right on. So for the people who have used your product, what's been some of the the feedback you've heard from them for kind of like uh, first, either whether they're first time growers or uh, experience? Like how are they liking your product and what are they what are they saying about it? Um, the first. The first feedback we get, so so there's a lot of hesitation in the space, right? I, I'll be really candid. There's some junk in, in the space. Um, the the sensors, yeah, I think a lot of people have the impression that uh, building a good sensor is as simple as just sort of buying something off the shelf 
and, and trying to get a good reading out of it. So I think the plant space is very frustrated. And so, so at first hesitant, like, okay, are you just another company that's saying you'll measure my water levels really well and your stuff's pretty not reliable and junk. Once we get over that hump, uh, when people actually feel the product, use it, they're like, whoa, this is, this is cool. This is not something I expected. And, you know, we, we, we spent three years on our research and development wow. there. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're seeing the fruits of that labor for sure. Um, once people use our product, once people give it a shot, they're often extremely impressed and surprised. Like, whoa, I, this is great. This is actually accurate. It's actually what's happening. Well, good. Well, that's the feedback hopefully uh, you <laughs> want to hear and should be hearing. But now that, yeah. that's great. That's great to hear. Uh, it's three years working on this too, right? That's uh, that's incredible. Yeah. A lot of us had, uh, you know, and this is more entrepreneurship conversation, but a lot of us had day jobs for the three years. So we were working on this after hours. Um, I've, I've started, I've taken it full time January onwards, but uh, no, it's been a long time coming. I think, you know, it, it could have been a year and a half to two if we were all working full time, but you and I both know that's not how it works, right? Mm -hmm. You need uh, supplemental income to sort of keep yourself going. Absolutely. And are you guys at the stage of looking to raise money, um, get outside investors in the company or like what's going on there? Yes, absolutely. We are looking for seed funding to bring yeah. some cool features and get into more stores. Um, if anybody in your audience is interested in investing or learning more, they can reach out to me uh, via email, sit at earthwan.io. But yeah, we're, we're in our seed stage. We're definitely looking to raise. Okay, excellent. So where can they contact you um, if they want to get in touch or what's the Earthwan website, things like that? Yep. So the website itself is earthone.io. That's more so product facing. But but yeah. like I had mentioned earlier, if somebody is uh, wants to reach out to me directly, um, Sid, my first name, at earthone.io. That's the best place. Okay. I'll put all your contact uh, information uh, in the video in the, in the description, right? Awesome. Thank you so much. Cool. Uh, Sid, thanks for uh, joining me today. I appreciate it. I think uh, all the, the listeners got exactly what they needed about Earth One and uh, Anyone listening wants to get in touch with Sid, uh, please reach out to him. Awesome. All right, thanks for thanks. having me. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it.